Hey guys, Dylan with the Random Firearm, and I was curious for a long time, can you use brake cleaner on firearms? So I'm a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to cleaning my firearms. I love Hops 9, I love going in with cotton swabs and toothpicks and cotton patches and cleaning all the nooks and crannies, but with products like Gun Scrubber and CLP, it's almost archaic to do it the old school way. But that stuff gets expensive, and it only lasts a few cleans before you gotta toss the can, so I was thinking, what about the cheaper alternative of brake cleaner? Now I use that on car parts, I use that on non-car parts, it's just a really good cleaner, aggressive cleaner, but a really good cleaner. So of course I had to know, can you use this on firearms? Well, if you look online, there's a bunch of old timers that say, don't use it, it melts your plastic parts, and blah, 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 blah. But then there's other few people who say, well, yeah, it's okay. If you look for videos, there's really not much on it. So I decided, well, let me see for myself if it's safe to use brake cleaner on your firearms. Spoiler alert, yes, you can, but there's a catch. Now, since I gave you that little bit of information, I'm gonna ask you to do something for me, since you didn't have to wait till the end of the video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Also, like, comment, and if your friends are curious about this too, please share the video. YouTube doesn't like this kind of content, but if you like, comment, share, and subscribe, it shows that this content is worth watching and then YouTube promotes it a bit more, which is great for me because again, YouTube and guns, they don't go hand in hand. But again, the short answer is yes, you can use brake cleaner, but there's a catch. And that catch, I'm gonna make you watch until the end. Now I decided to clean three firearms, my Beretta 92, my Taurus PT-1911, and my Glock 23. I thought these were three different firearms across the spectrum. One has a rugged military finish, one is lower end, but, um, and not lower end, but not as expensive, but all metal. And then the other one is your run of the mill Glock. It's metal, it's polymer, blah, 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 blah. So the biggest thing that people say online is, well, brake cleaner is gonna melt your plastic. So just to be safe, I took the grip panels off my Brenna 92 because it's 30 years old. I don't want to risk it. That plastic could be more brittle than it was back in the day. So I figured it'd be safe to just remove those, but the rest of the gun I just sprayed down. So here we go with the Beretta. I am using non-chlorinated brake cleaner. I haven't tried chlorinated, but this is what I had, so this is what I used. Always make sure you're being safety conscious when it comes to using any type of chemical. I have rubber gloves and I have safety goggles on just because, hey, stuff happens. So when you're working with any firearm, make sure it's clear and pointed in a safe direction at all times, which this firearm is. So I'm gonna begin the disassembly of it. And of course, as I mentioned, I'm taking the grip panels off because they're 30 years old and I don't wanna risk anything happening to it. And of course I lose a washer in my old transmission pan catch basin, disgusting, lovely thing. Yay. Which, if you know from previous videos, I drop things in here a lot. I don't need this anymore. Why is this even here? One of the two holes on this side. I dropped it in there again. Damn it. Get out of the way. The leak is fixed. There's no transmission fluid left in the damn freaking car. After your firearm is disassembled, spray it down. You could use a brush of some sort to get into the nooks and crannies, but basically spray and everything goes away. Now when it came to the barrel, I did run a patch through there as well. There weren't too many rounds through this, I only took it to one range session since I bought it, and before I took it out, I did give it a cleaning. Not a huge scrubbing, but I did give it a cleaning. Now here when I was spraying it down, I noticed something I didn't see before, and that's some extra holster wear. Some of the finish is removed in this area. And that's, again, it was a used firearm, I knew that. But, brake cleaner, and this leads me to my catch, will take down everything to the bare finish and bare metal if applicable. Which means any grime, any oil, anything that's attached to this firearm that shouldn't be there will be removed which means your firearm will rust, and it will rust badly, especially if you're in a humid location such as me in Florida. What you're gonna need to do is after you use brake cleaner on your firearm, which I have determined to be completely safe, 
you have to oil up your firearm. And I'm not just talking the normal oiling like I'm doing here in the parts where the slide moves back and forth. I'm talking about you have to coat the entire firearm in some type of rust preventative. My rust preventative of choice is Rig Universal Gun Grease. This stuff is amazing. It is like modern day Cosmoline, for lack of better words, and it works wonders. I put it on all my firearms before I put them in the safe, and I wipe it off before I get to the range, and I'm good to go. It will stop rust. But you're going to need something like this. Rem oil, or just the regular oil you're using on your firearm, will work as well. But this, I think, is just a little bit extra, so I tend to use this. And you have to coat the entire firearm in it. Every metal surface has to have this on there. Because again, brake cleaner is going to strip. It's going to strip down to the bare bones. Now I did my 1911 and my Glock off camera. I figured if you could see everything on the Beretta, there's no need to see it again for these. Just to see if there were any long term effects with using brake cleaner, I decided I would wait a couple weeks after my firearms were oiled up, put in the safe and not touched, and I would take them out. This is about 3 or 4 weeks later and as you can see, they look perfect. The only thing I will say be careful of is, again, brake cleaner can be harmful to plastic. So I didn't spray it all over the lower of the Glock, which is entirely made of polymer, but I did spray it on the inside because, well, you have to. But I just made sure I wiped off anything that was on the exterior. For my 1911, I have hog wrap around grips. I didn't take them off. I just sprayed around them, and again, if anything got on it, I just wiped it off as soon as I could. Now, I will say again, you should avoid using this directly on plastics, especially something old like the 30-year-old grips from the Beretta. And I wouldn't use this on nickel-plated firearms or stainless steel, simply because that's a different type of finish and a whole different type of animal. And this is a chemical, and it could have adverse effects on that. So I would stick with the old-school methods of cleaning those. So there you have it, guys. Brake cleaner is safe to use on your firearm. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Also, drop in a comment, like, and if you're really feeling up for it, sharing this video with your friends who might have the same question. Again, YouTube doesn't like this kind of content, so doing all of that lets me know that you care, and it lets YouTube know that you care, which is great. And I appreciate all of you guys when you do that. Is there something you want to see me do to a firearm next? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Again, brake cleaner safe. Oil down your firearms afterwards. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. Also, another way to get in touch with me, sorry, is to reach out on The Random Firearm on Facebook and also on Twitter. I will respond to your comments on there as well. Again, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next video.